You had no tooth for a while, and I'm not I still lie to you. don't have a tooth. I have a flipper, and it's pink right now because I put lipstick on. Look, I'll just take it out. Is this too gross? <laughs> How <laughs> badass am I, dude? No, honestly, it looks pretty badass. I just turned 50. How the f am I 50, dude? <laughs> Do you feel 50? My body does, but everything inside my f. <laughs> <laughs> Your f is 23, mm, max. My is at least 70. It's a fat little p pink little fat. P <laughs> to hear a 50 year old woman that looks like this say f pink fat. P it's so It's hilarious. gotta be disturbing, right? No, 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 no. It's the opposite. <laughs> I, I'm having a blast. Like, I come out of the stage, uh, on the stage doing p jokes, and they're probably like, huh? Is that my third grade teacher? <laughs> But then what? they like it. Hello, Steph and Faction people. We are back. I'm very excited for today's guest, as I am all the time. But this one's actually because it's my first time meeting. It's the hilarious Libby Higgins. Hello, everyone. Uh, I, I got so much more excited for this intro. I'm 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 so excited because, like you said, we've never met. We've never met. And I had a moment where I was like, did we actually ever meet? I like just hugged you for a very long time. It was a very sensual, nice hug. Yes. And I wasn't ready because the dog was sniffing my private parts. You can say anything My pussy, you want. Yeah. asshole. <laughs> so you, was really yeah, yeah. into my pussy and asshole. Do my podcast. I'm like, hey, no swearing <laughs> on my podcast. She did. She jumped up on you. She's not a big yeah. jumper. So she really did like your pussy. What did you put in there today? Some it dog just treats? Nor I, I actually put a little... Um, <laughs> Uh, Monistat. I okay. have some cream. Um, oh, did you? Yeah, already having body issues. We're just going to start right off. You put uh, the pill in or you put the cream the on? Cream, because um, went to the Bahamas last week and was in the water a lot and rolled what? around in the sand a lot. You kept the wet bathing suit didn't you? Yeah, and I think I'm getting some. So I just took my finger and just did a little. Did a little. <laughs> yeah, right. So is it the lip, lip and the inside. Well, you're putting yeah. the cream on the inside, are you? I just... I just the, put it on the lip and around yeah. the hole. Okay, around the hole. Okay, because I, like, I don't think the cream should be going there. I'm a big yeast head. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I know a lot about the yeasty okay. yeast. Okay. You know, you need, do you ever go to Canada? I've been there once. Okay. Next time you go, they, I wish you told me this. I would have fucking brought you the pill. I have a bunch in my house. <laughs> they do over-the-counter pills in in, uh, in Canada. You don't have to go to the doctor. You don't have to get like, an actual, like, whatever medication here like you do in the States. You Oh, on the shelf, yeast infection pill, take it. It'll be gone in 10 hours. Because they're like, hey, women deserve this. Yeah. In Canada, <laughs> they're like, a yeast infection? Yeah, who cares? In the States, they're like, we need to make sure. Let me get in there. Let's mm -hmm. look at your little pussy yeah. hole. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a yeast infection. Yeah, that's how they test it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's yeast. <laughs> That's yeasty. <laughs> that's so fucking gross. That's the number one way I think of getting yeast is uh, wetness down there, like a right. damp or wet. Because I wear a lot of, when I travel, I wear a lot of like, um, the, like stretchy pants. Stretchy pants. They're not breathing. Right. You gotta and breathe. It, the pussy needs to breathe. It needs, it must breathe. If it needed to breathe, breathe though, why didn't God create it with a mouth? That's yeah, my question that, that's today <laughs> for you viewers. Why didn't God just put a mouth there? It almost is like a mouth. It, it is. If there was one tooth in there, I think it'd be considered a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> just one big tooth right in the middle. <laughs> have you seen the movie with teeth? I have seen a uh, screenshot. Okay. Is that what they say these days? Yeah, yeah, still, yeah. Still a still of I, a... Yeah. yeah. I rewatched it, it again. It's a fucked up movie. If I'm not want. interested in it. Oh, it's good. <laughs> The guy rapes her. Her pussy bites the dick off. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> that part's cool. That part's the best. I'm not good with scary films. No, 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 no. I don't. I I've been trying to get into them because the BF likes them, but I really, I don't. I like a wholesome movie. Me too. If I want to sit down and relax, I want to relax. I don't want to yeah. be tense. I don't want. No. Yeah, the, I uh, I watched that Bohemian movie. What's it called? With a with a scary woman who like lives in the basement. Her her boobs are very long and they're barbarian. barbarian yes wait she has long boobs yeah 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 that part <laughs> was kind of funny um but it, it was like it's a scary like house and there's a comedians in it um Kurt Bono was very good in it hilarious but it was it's very dark very dark wow yeah I didn't like it it's in my head I go to bed now because I have, I have bad nightmares a lot of bad thoughts in there I don't have nightmares but I have OCD with intrusive thoughts so then in my brain I'd be like oh 
I'm going to grow long tits and start killing people. <laughs> and then it, I just ruminated over and over and over. So oh, I'm not God. looking for extra thoughts. No, no, no extra thoughts. I have enough you, in there, you're, right? You're filled to the brim in there. Mm. You're filled to the brim in there. You're filled to the brim with cream. You got a lot going on oh. right now. Does it feel good, though? I, I always have a, uh, the monosat cream. Anytime I travel, it's in the travel bag. It feels good. It does feel good. It definitely took away um, the itching. The itching, the itching and the stinging and the, the burning. Stinging and the burning is. And bad. I, I think I got a little piece of sand in my urethra too. So I, I, oh, I'm oh, telling you, huh? I just was rolling in the sand, rolling. What? Well, 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 why? <laughs> I don't uh, know. It just I, I felt just... good to let the waves take me in okay, and out. Okay. Okay. And sand, um, so did the bathing suit move over, or there's the sand was so much in there? Just so much in there. Just a lot, and and you couldn't pee it out. Well, it's probably out, but I think it's just on the cusp of the re- urethra oh, hole, and, and it's just sitting there irritating. Sometimes, do you, sometimes I look at, if I have like crazy sex and I look at my pee hole after, I want to throw up. Like it's like pulsating. Something so you can see there. your pee hole. Wow, I think I can. <laughs> what am I looking at? So you at? can go like this and see it. I mean, I'm using a mirror, my legs okay, up. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 I thought no, you were no, just I'm not a gymnast. <laughs> no, 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 no. I no. was gonna be jealous and impressed. Uh, no, 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 no. We have stuff down here. We're wearing tight pants. We we got we got the leg up and we got the mirror, the, the little pocket mirror that we look at it with. Okay, good lighting. That is still very difficult for me because there's a lot it's, of spreading and there's a lot of spreading, pulling yeah, yeah. up and. I'll tell you what, you don't want to see it. You're not missing out on anything down there. You don't want to see the pee hole. Weird. Very close to the vagina. It's it, no, yeah, I don't alarmingly know. close. It kind of looks like a, like a a pinto bean. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if any of this is real. I don't know Whoa. what I'm saying right now. You're like, wait a second. Can we maybe get up here and and take a peek? Hold a mirror up for yeah. each other and kind of. <laughs> we get to the have a immediately. Seat. We just meet. We have the most <laughs> intense meeting. Let's see in there. There. <laughs> I hate the testing. The testing. So we we met over fucking Zoom. Right. We met on a fucking Zoom show so long ago. And I was like, I'm obsessed with you. And then we became Instagram friends. And this is it. And the thing that made me love you was you were wearing a bikini t-shirt. And I also had a bikini t-shirt. And I was like, we're best friends. We're best friends. We're best (laughs) friends now. I love that bikini t-shirt. Fair thing to wear. It's so stupid. I love a classic joke thing like that. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so good. It's stupid. So you're in LA. You're visiting. What are you doing here right now? You're just. Um, I'm doing this podcast. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Most importantly. Most and, importantly. Um, I'm doing a couple other podcasts, but I'm just here with Chelsea. Yeah. Um, and we're just making content. Are you doing we, shows? Excuse me. You just barfs on the fuck. <laughs> no shows. Okay. Uh, Cause where where are you living now? Nashville. Where Nashville. Are you? You're in Nashville. Yes. Because yes. I hit you up when I was there last to try to come. And something happened. Yes, yeah, probably happened. Ang- social anxiety or something like that. Yeah. Or... <laughs> do you love that? I do. And <laughs> if I plan ahead too much, <clears throat> it's going to end in a disaster, meaning I'll get sick or I'll overthink things. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah love yeah, yeah. that for me. I love, you that, love that. Isn't that nice? <laughs> How have you had that your whole life? Steph Infection listeners, thank you so much for continuing to listen. And thank you so much for coming to see me live and coming up to me in the meet and greet lines and saying, oh my gosh, I love your podcast and I love listening. You have no idea how good that makes me feel. I work real hard at this goddamn thing and I'm very happy to know some people also love it as much as me. I just dropped a spring, summer fucking tour and I want to give you guys a date. Here are my new Filth Queen spring, summer dates. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. That's where they all are. Or go to punchup.live slash Steph Tolev where you can request me. If I'm not coming to your city, plop in your old postal code Canada or your zip code. And, and if enough people message, I can come out to your city. April 18th to 20th, I'll be in Baltimore at Magoobie's Joke House. Insane name, but please come. April 21st, I'll be in Philadelphia at the Punchline. One night, one show only. Let's sell this fucker out. April 24th, I'm doing my filth show. In New York City at LPR, Le Poisson Rouge, wicked-ass venue, the lineup's crazy, Dan Soder, Jordan Jensen, Sarah Squirm, Derek Gaines, I don't know what to tell you, that lineup's nuts, please come to that show, it will sell out. May 2nd, I am doing the Netflix is a Joke Festival, I'm headlining the main room in the Comedy Store, which is a big deal for me, I've never done this before, please, if you're in Los Angeles or San Diego, make the drive, make the drive, May 2nd, I'm out of breath. May 17th and 19th, I'll be in San Antonio, Texas, sweating my nuts off. June 14th to 15th, I'll be in Austin, Texas at the Creek and Cave. Those shows will sell out. They sold out last year, so please get them now. I can't wait to come back. 
July 14th, I'm doing the Great Outdoors Festival in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, with Whitney Cummings and Burt Kreischer. August 22nd, I'm doing a one-nighter in Atlanta, Georgia. And then August 23rd to 24th, I'm doing Charleston, South Carolina. Please get tickets. These are all going to sell well. Winky, winky, get tickets. Thank you for all patiently awaiting this big UK drop I've been teasing everybody about. I am officially coming to the UK and Holland. Can you believe it? First time ever. Filth Queen Tour is going to be in Holland and England May 27th to June 1st. I'll be in Eindhoven at the Park Theatre May 27th. Amsterdam May 28th at the Comedy Cafe. And then I will be at the Soho House, downstairs Soho House uh, in London, England, May 29th to June 1st. So the Soho Theater, I believe it is, but it's in the Soho House. Come to these shows. Uh, when the hell am I ever taking a nine and a half hour flight? I'm terrified of flying now. Punchup.live slash Steph Tola for all these tickets. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but you don't realize till you're in your 20s like what it is. Yeah. You just think you're a weird kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like something. something but have serious. so much anxiety, uh, so much stage fright. Like my stage yeah. fright. Unbelievable. That's crazy because you're so fucking good. We've never seen my stand-up. I, you have seen clips? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm watching clips. <laughs> I'm, watching your, I'm watching your Instagram. <laughs> Excuse wow. me. Wow. <laughs> so you, before you go on, I had, when I first started, I had have like massive diarrhea before I went on stage. Yeah. But that's... Before I go on, I just, I'm like, why am I doing this? Am I okay? I can't do this. Big time imposter syndrome, but also yeah, just yeah, a lot yeah. of anxiety on top of that. Like, I, why am I doing this? No one's going to like me. I'm going to forget everything I know. Yeah. Shit. And then you have, so that's all, people are realize getting past that and then also having to be funny after right. is very hard to well, do. Well, getting on the stage is the hardest part. Once I'm there, I'm like, yeah, I got this. Yeah, I love this. Bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> get out of there fuck you so when did you start performing like because i yeah we only bumped each other over a zoom thing but like when did you, it's how long have you been doing it been about nine years okay um and in the last five is really when i feel like i'm I know what i'm doing yeah um before that just not kind knowing what putts, i was doing just <laughs> around. the first few years also like starting I feel like it was starting older. Mm -hmm. You're like, you know yourself. You know what you want to talk about. Like, I started when I was 18. I was like, the subway stinks. Like, I'm like, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck am I talking about. You know what I mean? So it's like you start already knowing who you are as a person and what your beliefs are and all that right. stuff. Yeah, it's definitely strange starting. I started when I was 40. So no, yeah. I've been doing it 10 years because I'm. I just turned fucking 50. My God. How the fuck am I 50, dude? <laughs> but you, do you feel 50? My body does, okay. uh, but everything inside my pussy. <laughs> Your pussy is 23 max. My pussy is at least 70. Um, <laughs> yeah, your pussy's <laughs> aged way more than you have. You've, it's really taken a beating over the years. <laughs> your pussy's been left in the sun, and it's oh. really just... <laughs> I don't feel 50, and I'm just trying to stay relevant you are oh okay yes you're wearing a fun sweater you got a cool logo for your cool podcast logo. i mean slop city i had to wear a sweater because i got so many sand flea bites in the bahamas from rolling around i saw chelsea's post about that you got, it's so gross it's disgusting <laughs> let's see some of them like they're scarred <gasps> oh my god we got look at that that's bad they're, what's the bruise i have a condition called lip edema and i bruise easily <gasps> So what's lipedema? Let's get into this. Oh, God. People you are going to say, that's not real. Lipedema is a um, a fat disorder. So I have abnormal fat buildup on my body. So you saw my ass, right? Big ass. That's not just because God bless me. That's because <laughs> I have abnormal fat buildup in my arms, legs, hips, buttocks, and now it's going into my stomach. I thought um, you going to say pussy. I was going to be like, oh, no. Oh, that yeah, pussy's always fat. <laughs> It's a fat little puss, pink little fat pussy. To hear a fifty-year-old woman that looks like this say f "pink fat, fat pussy," it's so it's hilarious. gotta be disturbing, right? No, 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 no it's the opposite. <laughs> I, I'm having a blast. I think that's part of my my charm, though. It's like it disarms people because they don't like. I come out of the stage uh, on the stage doing pussy jokes, and they're probably like, "Huh? Is that my third grade teacher?" <laughs> But then what? they like it. Oh, we, oh, yeah, of course they do. People, everyone is sick. 
I'm, mm-hmm. I've been trying to get this point across for a very long time. Everybody is secretly a sick pig. They may act like they're not. They may go to church and act like they're this fucking wholesome, uh, they're a holy person, whatever it is. You're sick. You have <laughs> sick thoughts. You do sick things when you're alone. You're probably fingering your ass you're, with your thumb and, and you're got dirt in your nail. You're doing some gross shit. And then giving you're it a little. You're biting your toenails. You're, yeah, you're sniffing it. You're sucking it. You're gross. People are gross. So don't act like when we're talking like this, it's not, this is what you're thinking. Well, it's because we're women talking like this. Yeah, that's what makes problem. it disturbing. That's that, is, that is the issue. Yeah. And I love that you're just going out there and doing whatever the fuck you want. And yeah, some people, people are loving it. Some people. Well, the thing is, people <laughs> people notice, and that's great because uh, it's hard out there for us. Yeah, uh, getting booked dirt as dirty people. Yeah, but now yeah, yeah. you're in a position where like you can't fucking tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, it took a long time to get there, but yeah. it's finally like well, because now I have fans now. That's so when you have fans, people don't give a fuck what you say. Turns right. out, I'm like, oh okay. So other people like me. So now you now. So the, now the, the bookers, bookers are like, me. oh yeah, oh, we like you now. Yeah, it's funny. I'm yeah. going to a club this weekend, and uh, not a lot of women at this club. I've been looking at the lineups. I'm like, eh, hello, is there any other <laughs> women this year? What are we doing here? Bizarre. Um, but so you you're on the road a lot. Road road you're loving road it. dogs. So did you get into stand up first? Because I started seeing you mostly because your character stuff. Mm-hmm. I did mostly character stuff. Then I uh, went into stand up, and then from there went to improv, which it, 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 like helped me so much doing improv classes yeah. in St. Louis. Um, just helped me with like my stage fright and being mm-hmm. okay with not knowing what's going to happen. Yeah, I, yeah, I started in improv, and I feel like that definitely helped. It's it really helped. It also helps you like realize you can look like a fucking moron on stage, and that getting past that. Right. It was it's such a big jump oh, for, for performing. Oh, God. Failing and looking dumb and just like, you know, because the improv like, like, okay. Yeah, like the improv warm-up games, <laughs> pathetic. You look, like, you look like an idiot doing those. Um, Did you like the zip, zap, zop shit? What about the bunny one? Bunny, bunny. I don't even remember it. Oh, I don't even know that one. So did you do um, long-form improv? Yes. And so you did organic... Um, What's it called? Organic openings with a herald? Yeah, me, I was in a sketch group called The Dumb Cunts. You love that. You've been doing yeah. it. You've been yeah. fucking doing I've it. I've been dude. doing it. Uh, eight, 19, I got in that group. It was four of us, four girls. Dumb Cunts with a K. Hilarious. Um, and we would do something where we would take a, a suggestion from the audience and then we'd each go up and do a monologue, like a quick little like minute monologue. Mm-hmm. And then those monologues would get us into like a long form thing. So we'd do like five or six scenes in an hour and then tie it back together at the end. And by that, I mean the other three did that. I was like, I'm the wacky character. I'd be like, that's <laughs> farting out of my mouth is funny. And then they're like, get off stage. Um, that's me. Yeah. I did a lot of a guy that was like, hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> this is my pussy. <laughs> did we do the same in Bob Horse? Because that's exactly what I did. Did you do an orphan child, too? <laughs> no, I always no, did an orphan. No, no, like, no. hello, Sam, I please have some food. But then I would... <laughs> It would be like an imposter orphan, it, it turned out. Like okay. it was an adult posing as an orphan. <laughs> this is a good character. This is a very funny Isn't character. It, isn't I do some creepy man. I always be a creep. He My does. favorite, yeah. I came out once. This was so embarrassing. It was a second city I auditioned years ago in Toronto. And my audition was so creepy that I didn't even get a call back. And the guy told me to stop. I came out and this girl sat down. I went, ooh, those are some nice shoulders. And I started like really massaging her. And she was like, please stop. And like, and the guy who was running was like, all right, next scene. And I was like, oh, I made this woman severely uncomfortable. Wow. And I never, I was like, never did main stage or anything. So I was like, yeah, they were like, we can't have this pervert on our, <laughs> on our team. But look at you though. Look it's at me so now. It's great to see <laughs> filthy females Doing headlining, it. doing it, mm-hmm. because it's so fucking hard. I don't think people realize how hard it, hard it is for women to be dirty. It's they hard don't. enough to be a comic, yeah, but then to be a dirty comic on top of that, it's like it's because like, they don't want you to fucking host. They don't want you no, hosting, no, no, saying no, those no, things. No, 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 no. I'm in the spot where I feature, which is you know better, but nobody can tell Chelsea what to do, and she's no, no, no. she's the headliner, so. Yeah, I, 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 I was funny. I was, I did a show in Milwaukee on the weekend, and there's this uh, girl Regan, a host for me. She's amazing. She's dirty, and she was telling me that another uh, male comic told her not to do dirty off the top. I was like, do dirty off the top. First of all, you like doing dirty. You are a dirty comic. What, why are you gonna change now? And she did dirty, and she like killed that show. I was like, yeah, do. Also, it's my crowd. Do dirty jokes. They want this. Right. So it's, I don't know. Don't, I'm also like, don't fucking listen to a man telling you what to do. I'm like, if I listen to a man, I wouldn't be sitting here right now because I was told right. not to be fucking dirty my whole career. And I'm like, guess what? Suck my ass. Also, I hate people get mad. Like, we're trying to be dirty. We're not trying to be dirty. 
You came in, the first word out of your mouth was, your dog sniffing my pussy. Like, we're not <laughs> trying to be dirty. We just, just think do like this. Yeah. We're just sick. We're sickos. That's it. That's what I love about it. I wonder why. What happened to us? I mean, well, that's a lot to unpack. Yeah, that we, is. That's, a, that's a whole different that. podcast. <laughs> that is. Did your mother also not love you? No, there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> ah, sort of sobbing. Um, no, no, there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah. Um, but okay, let's get into your, I feel like you have a lot of body stuff. I feel like you. I also want to get into your tooth thing. You had no tooth for a while, and I'm not I gonna still lie to you. don't have a tooth. I have a flipper, and it's pink right now because I put lipstick on. Look, I'll just take it out. Is this too gross? <laughs> How fucking badass am I, dude? No, honestly, it looks pretty badass. Okay, so it's on a little thing. It is a little thing. It's a little tooth. Oh my god, it's just a single tooth on a little thing. Wow. So it it little, looks real. Maybe a little food residue, but my tooth just <laughs> broke off. What were you eating? A salad. No. That's the second time I've eaten a salad where something horrible has happened. Well, One time I ate bagged salad from Aldi and got a cyclospora, which is a parasite. From a salad? Yes. How it was like a, a whole thing? thing? Like what we... it, it's a, um, I mean, just shitting forever, always, all day. I hate that. And um, went, you know, kept going to the doctor and he kept saying like IBS and, and I'm like, and like you don't understand. People that have IBS don't shit 15 times a day. <laughs> yeah, a so shit. then I had to take a poop sample, <laughs> give it a little taste <laughs> and get, told the doctor. Yeah, yeah, show the doctor. Here you go. Here it is. Had to put the turd, turd or the diarrhea in my say, freezer. In the freezer? In like a Ziploc? Um, it had a little cup, okay, a collection okay. cup. Oh, so it's like, the, and then you take it to church afterwards. You take it to church yeah, yeah, first, yeah, and, put, okay, and after and then, church, you take it to <laughs> a place where they examine it. So they take out all the change out of it. <laughs> out of the like, shit. wait a minute, let me see. <laughs> Everybody's tasted it. Everyone's tasted the church shit coins. Ooh, Ooh mm, there's a lot going on in there. I taste bank salad. <laughs> so, okay, so they, you say take your t the shit, and they're like, oh yeah, well, like, can they see? Can you see like? When, you, uh, when I hear Paris, I feel like there's things flopping around in there. Nothing. Microscopic. Oh, okay. okay, um, okay. So I was in Sedona, where you just yes, were. Yes, beautiful place. My friend sent me an article that said Aldi bagged salad recalled due to cyclospora. <gasps> no. Right? And I'm like, that's me because I was eating that bagged salad every day for lunch. Every single day. How the doctor calls me the following Monday and says, you got cyclospora, and I don't know where you got it. And you're like, I And I know. says to him, doctor. I says. I take a little bite <laughs> and say, doctor, you're not going to believe it, but I got it from Aldi salad. And then I had to do this whole thing where I had to go through the health department and they had to log it. Oh, my in God. Their little log Did books. they give you money well that part i'm not allowed to talk okay. about um <laughs> okay let's okay. just say mommy did okay <laughs> <laughs> let's just say mommy got a new pink pussy um mommy owns aldi at this point <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy were you so it was like what else were you feeling just the shitting or were you just feeling shitting. sick no just shitting okay. nonstop. Oh my god did you lose any weight um i think I lost probably about 10 pounds, but okay. it went immediately back on, you know? You know, so. love that. Don't you love when you lose something yeah. the, the next day? You're like, hmm, yeah. I ate an apple, and somehow I'm <laughs> fatter. Makes no sense. Um, okay, that, okay, so that that was the first thing, the tooth, and then the first salad thing, sorry, right. and then the tooth thing. The tooth, just eating it. Um, it, was a, it was a crown. Okay. And underneath the crown, there was decay happening that I didn't know about. Okay. okay? So the little post, the nub... You know how they yeah. saw it down and yeah. put the tooth? That just broke. And um, to say that I was alarmed is an understatement. <laughs> um, it's fine if a back tooth falls out immediately because you're like, I'll be fine. Everyone will still love me. <laughs> when a front tooth falls out, that changes almost everything in your life. It really does. It really is like, uh, it's just, I, I, just because we're bad people. Right. People are just like, it's all about looks. So people, it's, so were people treating you differently with a tooth? Well, I, there was a point before I got the flipper where I explained to everyone that I saw, look, I'm not normally missing this tooth. <laughs> and if you listen, I have quite a bit of a lisp with it. So I'm saying to these people, look, I'm not normally missing a tooth. And trying to explain to them while I have a lisp. And they're like, we don't care. Yeah, we don't care. Please leave. And then about uh, two weeks into it, I was like, you know what? Look at me. I'm look fucking cool. 
<laughs> it is wild the difference it makes. Like it is like it is like trashy almost, and then all of a sudden it's not. And then you get a flipper that is a couple shades wrong, <laughs> and then you put lipstick on, and somehow it turns pink. So I have a pink tooth. Which I'm, I'm fine with. At this point, like, who cares? So when is the when is the real tooth coming in? Well, that's very complex. Have you ever had an implant? No. You have to get bone grafts. Bone grafts? Where they take bone from a deceased person, a cadav- cadaver, and they put it in there. And that bone has to fix in with your bone. And I says to the dentist, I said, first I tasted it. <laughs> First, I tasted him. I put my finger in his little butthole. And went, <laughs> You're like, okay, dentist. Mm, that's what a dentist tastes like. I said, sir, is there, will I start to take on the personality of this person that this bone is in my mouth? And he goes, no, they've stripped of all the, the DNA. And I'm thinking, I don't think that's possible. I've watched a lot of crime shows. And it's I don't, a bone. I'm like, I don't know how you would strip that, bro. And uh, then I go, oh, no, it's already happening. I'm someone else. <laughs> and he didn't laugh. No. No laugh. He didn't laugh at all. And I did it twice and he didn't laugh. And um, that really bugs me. And I thought, man, that was a solid bit. Dude. That's, that is a good bit. It's a solid bit. And with the accent and everything and the motherfucker didn't laugh. I get really pissed when people like that don't laugh. I'm actually, I, I had a mole removed. One well, guy bit it off. That's all the story. <laughs> Whoa. I, uh, yeah, no, it's insane. I got bit my neck mole off. I had to remove it. I talked about it a million times. Anyways, that same mole doctor, I, the guy I went to the next day, I was laughing and I was like, he, he, was, he had it like in a jar and I'm like, can I get a mole man alone? And he died laughing and I was like, mole man alone is hilarious. Thank you so much for laughing. And then he, I gave him like a card because he was laughing at me so hard. I'm going back to him tomorrow. I'm getting two more moles removed. Do you have any bits lined up? I, no, I know. Should I get some? I should get some. Going. He, if he doesn't remember me, I'm gonna be very offended. I'll be like, well, I had a mole five years ago. We had a lot. Of, we had a fun time. So I'm hoping because I specifically asked for the same guy. Right, right. You yeah. have to. Maybe you could take in a little speaker and a microphone, and you could do like. Maybe a I'm five. gonna go live on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Back with my mole boy. Um, yeah, I'm ready to. Can you, maybe he'll let me do it because I have two little like they're like skin taggy, but they're right on the like. Do you have any skin tags or moles? Like, oh, I got the biggest skin tag on my back right now. It's unreal. But back, like middle, like, this is like right on my necklace line. Right so people here. are like, every time I get my hair done, they're like brushing it. And I'm Stop. like, ah, and I'm like feeling it like flip around. And I felt like the day my boyfriend was like doing a bit of a choke and I didn't hate that. And I felt like he just grabbed, from, he's like from the back and I felt like he grabbed the mole. I'm like, that would be so disgusting. You're fucking somebody and you're like you trying to be their... sexy and then you're like, ooh, and you're like flicking my mole at the same time. I, I was like, wow. I asked him how did you notice it? He's like, well, now I'm going to think about it. I'm like, well, now I need it gone. Now he's not gonna want to choke you. Now I know, no more choking because my fucking disgusting mole. I mean, why on the neck? They were all on the neck. He's like, do you have a goiter? What's going on back there? <laughs> or what if he got into that and that was his kink? What and if he I jacked get rid of the mole? Oh, yeah, he's like, then there's no more mole. He goes, well, now I'm not hard anymore. I need that mole. <laughs> I need you to have to get a prosthetic mole, <laughs> <laughs> a flipper mole. And I, <laughs> I have to get holy it. shit. I'm like, I have to get a graft from somebody else. Okay, so that's so weird. What? what they don't, you, I guess you can't give your own bone for your own tooth. That'd be weird. Yeah, what bone is it gonna take? Okay, so that's right. I didn't finish my story today. Then it, the bone has to heal and, and go into your bone. They have to become one. They have to join, become one, and that takes quite a bit of time. Huh. You know, and after that happens, then they, uh, then they drill, um, drill, drill a post into that hole, and um, oh my god, that has to heal for like three to six months, and then they can affix the tooth. Now, keep in mind, I also have dental phobia, so none of this is pleasant. This for me. is bad. This is just so so much time. It's so much time, and if you're a person like me, whose career depends on me modeling and showing my face, yeah. and showing my teeth, <laughs> it could be detrimental to your career. At least the flipper, like you, honestly, I, you see a color difference. It looks normal. Like the flipper looks like you have a normal set of teeth here. <laughs> face. And I've spent so much money on these teeth because my teeth have always been jacked, always. And for it to just fall out like that was was devastating. <laughs> Very upsetting. Very upsetting. Have so, you had any teeth fall out? No. You're young though. Just wait. Uh, oh no, I, I I'm chipping left, right, and center over here. We, yeah, just we get got ready. Problems? Oh, I'm oh I'm ready. I got cavities. I gotta go to the dentist. This is too. Much. I hate the dentist too. And I went to this one dentist in L. A. And he was like trying to like get a photo with me. He's like, You're a comedian, right? I'm like I'm not getting a selfie with my dentist right now. Can we just g- get my wow. tooth sorted out? Yeah, well, it's insane. At least he did that. My dentist didn't even laugh at my joke. So. I always try to make my doctors laugh too. There's, my doctor is so dainty. I love her so much, but she's so like, okay, you ready to go? And I'm always like, she's ready more than I am. And then she'll be like, okay. 
Like, Does she no. give you pap smears? Yeah. Canada. So what kind of bits are you doing while she's inside of you? I'm trying to do like funny bits like, oh, there's a lot going on down there. Or like, oh, sorry, I have to move around. And I was trying to like, so I got a sugar the other day and I got, she was in there and she was like really moving things around. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you looking for something down there? And then she was like, hmm? And I was like, I'm like, it's a lot. I'm like, it's like you're reading a big book, huh? With the yellow pages. <laughs> and then she was just like. She's like, what are the yeah. yellow pages? And she's like, I don't. She was like so young and she was like. Anyways, um, so <laughs> what do you do for work? And I was like, I not, I'm not gonna say comedian because I'm bombing right now. <laughs> I'm in the industry. Uh, I'm an agent. Yes, yes. Wow. Okay, so two thing, two sand thing. fleas, lipedema, lipedema. So that, is, so that is your doctor said that. So, that, so you just bruise. So how do you get rid of that? You can't. That's it. The lipedema can is there's no cure yet. What they do is do liposuction um, and get the fat. It's like huge, large nobules that are inside of me. So it's fat that is basically hardened into hard nodules. So, and this, this is like from passed down in your family? How yes, is this? it is genetic. Oh, um, fuck. And it's hormone. So when I turned like 14, 15, that's when it really started, my ass started getting big. At the time it was great. Yeah, Cause yeah, that yeah. was considered stage one. So you just have a big ass, big legs. Um, I'm at stage three now where it's actually debilitating. like. She had to get a, a step ladder for me to get into this chair because it, it affects your walking, your gait. It's Fuck. it's fucking horrible. That's um, fu so the only thing to get rid of is lipo. It's yes. It? And I've had lipo on the front, which took, I think they took six liters of the fat out, oh but I need it God. so bad on my back and it just comes back. So so how long has it gone for then? What is, um, That's insane. Ideally, it, should, it shouldn't come back as fast, you know, because this is, this is like, 30 years of buildup. Yeah, okay. Um, and it's very heavy. Like, I wish you could see me lifting this. Yeah. Mm, but luckily, <laughs> big butts are in style right now, mommy. Mm. So that is in this, I'm sure, is, is this covered under insurance? Or you just... No, because insurance companies say liposuction is, is cosmetic. Okay, and you're like... So then you have to go through a, a fucking process of proving that this is disabling and you can't fucking yeah. walk. Jesus Christ. That's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Who does your mom have it too? Um, I think my mom had it, but she was very, um, I don't want to say anorexic, but um, she had a lot of eating issues. Okay, okay. So she was thinner, but still had big legs and big thighs. Okay. Which is typical. If you see somebody with a smaller up and a bigger bottom tree they trunk legs, yeah. it's like you need to look into lipedema. I'm sure several people listening to this are going to be like, oh, that's what I fucking oh. have? Like, my God. And I see people every day. I'll see women every fucking day and I want to just be like, hey, you need to know if you don't that you have this so you can start doing some stuff about it. Because yeah. there are things you could do. Vibration machines that you put your feet on. Okay. Um, those pump machines were like the lower part of my body is being pumped to get the lymphatic fluids up. Um, God damn it. You just so it, and it just keeps going on. It, it just keeps, keeps going. going, and it's keeps painful. Adding on. It's, yeah, it's that's the worst part is is it's chronic. I'm in chronic pain, and I'm not oh. trying to make people feel sorry for me, but I am kind of trying to bring a little awareness to it. Because, I, yes, because my doctor didn't know. I didn't know for years. I found out on my own on Facebook by seeing a picture of somebody that looked like me, and they were describing like tree trunk legs, and I'm like, wait, wait a second, that's me. And then I had to search for a doctor that knew what it was. And that's got wild diagnosed. that your doctor didn't know. So you, you went in. Many you doctors like, don't know. Were you like, hello, something's wrong? Or they're like, you're just fat. Well, exactly. That's part of the problem. When you're fat and at the doctor's office, everything is because you're fat. So I would I told him, I'm like, something's wrong with my legs. They hurt constantly. He's like, well, you do need to lose weight. And I'm like, but something's yeah. wrong. And this was the last time I went to him. He never even like looked at my legs. He didn't have me take off my pants or put on a gown. He never looked at my legs. And I went in for leg pain. <laughs> leg pain. He didn't take a little. <laughs> he didn't do a little test. He didn't do a leg. taste test or anything. That, that's that's a bad doctor. Also, a male doctor. <laughs> Ew, we sick in the head. They're gross. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't want a man touching my <laughs> pussy. You're insane. I just posted a clip today. Oh, there's an OBGYN in the front row. This old Jewish man. I'm like, I don't want you near my fucking pussy. Wow. Did he love that? Oh, he was loving it. Yeah, yeah. Him and his wife were like, keep I going. But I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, repulsed. I went off. I was like, your whole life? Like, it's like, I don't know why it grosses me. I'm sure people get mad when I say this, but I'm like, it grosses me out. Why would he before, want to even why. do that? That's why Unless I'm like, why? Unless it's for some weird reason. 
I, yeah, I don't want to dedicate my life to learn about cocks. They, they're stinky. They're gross. Get them out of here. I love my boyfriend's penis, but everybody else's penis uh, is disgusting. Do you do this to him? <laughs> do I do the old, uh, <laughs> in, what's that called? And the, I just uh, learned how to do this. Yeah, pepper, yeah was pepper, I was going to say, or the, it's I was never Indian good at hand jobs, right? Well, my whole life. And, and just you do learned, that now? I do this now, and I'm talking milk in the man. Are you? I've never done that. Oh a my! Hander. I learned from a lady on Instagram, and I call it washing the hands because she's like, make a washing the hand movement, which doesn't really look like it. But I'm telling you, the man's balls are empty. <laughs> oh, really? I try, it try this. On, do you say his name? On I here? do it here. Jefferson. Yes. Jefferson. I will try it. Yes. <laughs> Ask for the wash in your hands, buddy, because you're going to get milked. And uh, I don't do a lot of hand jobs. My hand gets tired. I get annoyed. Maybe because I'm not using both. You're not doing it right. I went my whole life doing the whole. Yeah, okay. You like that? Hmm? <laughs> you like that? You got to just get in there. And I mean, lots of lube, too. Just oh, I was going to say that you that you can't be dry. And maybe make okay. noises like that. Yeah, Ooh, you're really mm. washing it. Okay. You it, don't you? I'm going to try it and see what he says. I want to know what happens. Also, are you are on a lot of big cocks? Because Jefferson and I can do that. A lot well, of other guys, I can't be doing that. Well, he's got a big ding dong, the guy that I did it to. And, okay, uh, okay. Big old schlong. I haven't done it to anybody else's ding dongs yet. Okay, okay. Because you need to get the full two hands on there. Oh. Too. I mean, I'm just so there. proud of myself because... You, you don't grow up knowing how to give a hand job. Nobody teaches you. Your mom doesn't no. sit you down and say, Mom, teach me how to do a hand How job. do you jerk off daddy? And then she goes, mm, let me get your daddy and show you. <laughs> don't cut that out. No, I'm not. I don't cut anything out. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Unless you tell me to cut something out. It's not going out. I, my first hand job was so bad. I got a rumor went around in grade 10 that I gave bad hand, hand jobs. Martin. Why? You're in jail now. Oh, he is? Yeah, Good. Yeah, That's where he shit. deserves to be. Because <laughs> you're not getting hand jobs now, brother. Yeah, sorry, idiot. You're not, well, he probably is. Yes. But not the old two handed milk. Not the two handed. Oh, the old two handed. Oh, handed. Getting horny just thinking about Are you? Okay, what more? You have more body things. I know you do. Let's get in. I, I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, you mean gross body stuff? Yeah, any body stuff. Um, yeah. Do I. I This is really gross, and, and I'm ashamed to admit it, but I had my nipples pierced, right? Oh, okay. Don't anymore. And both? Uh, yeah. Barbells or hoops? A uh, hoops. And this is before they became When uh, did you do this? This is in my twenties. Okay. I had a lot of I had my hood pierced, a lot of stuff going on. I know. You can't look at me and think this lady had her hood pierced, but uh, I did. Uh, hood was pierced. Uh, how? I don't know. That's the one okay, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Here's the vagina. Well, here's my vagina. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I got to get a bloom and onion from Applebee's. <laughs> How do you, okay, I don't understand what, 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 what's the hood? The hood is, so you have your clit, right? Yes. Let's say it's this. There's a little skin that goes over it like this to protect it. Fat. And that skin is called the hood. And they, they pull it up like this and put a little earring through it. Why did I do that? I don't know. Wasn't that so... My clit is so sensitive. I would l it, lose my mind. It's not in the clit, though. If it was in the clit, that'd be okay. Insane. I, okay. It's just why the skin over. Okay. Wild. It's wild, and I don't know why I did it. I was young, and I was like, "Yeah, this sounds like a lot of fun." How long? <laughs> how long did you have it for? Oh, a couple years. Couple years. Never got caught. Never clean. Accident. Never got uh, nothing. Uh, I was with a guy though. He was, and it was long term. Sorry, she's licking her pussy. I didn't know that was a dog. Um, <laughs> and he didn't like it when he was eating me out. Yeah. I he was like, licking that puss. Yeah, he, he like, like it. if it, It's a lot going on down there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. then the nipples. The I can't nipples, believe you had the hood. That's crazy. So the nipples, like every, I'd say every month, it gets filled up with a... a, a like pussy? Pu like kind of like a pus, but a thick pus. Okay. And I will pop it out. Um, is that what we're talking about on this podcast? Oh, still also? now? Yeah. Uh, every, oh, uh, from where the holes were? Yes. Oh. And I'm not going to say I smell it, but I smell it. <laughs> and it's foul. Well, it's like, you know, when you have your ear, if you were like a, a kind of infected ear? Yeah. And that smells? Am I saying too much? No, I have, well, I'll tell you this, if you want to be gross. I used to have this pierced. Mm -hmm. My, I, that's a hole there. You can see it. I can push pus out of that. 
Do you like doing it? Though? I do it all the time. You should film it for YouTube because there are millions upon millions. It's of not a lot. It's like a little, I think it's more than my cover up and stuff. But like whatever it is comes mm-hmm. out, and I don't sniff it. I'll tell you that. But you gotta <laughs> sniff be, it though. No, I've never sniffed it. And honestly, the thought of sniffing it is I, I actually could throw up right now. I yeah. this sniffer, I'm already sniffing things as it is. Mm-hmm. I'm sniffing too much. Mm-hmm. I can't be sniffing that. Yeah, I got a lot of sensory. Uh, Problems. Sniffing is my, uh, my big one. So I, yeah, no I can smell a, a bad smell a mile away. Oh, and, bad. And I, but I, for some reason, if it's from my body, I got to give it a little sniff. So wait. Okay. So both sides, you're, it's every single time. Where, was it this way or th- this way? It was that way. Okay. And they're both both sides pus comes out. Like it doesn't yes. fully close. It's, it's, um, so could you, do you think you put it back in? Probably. I wouldn't even try because that was some of the worst pain I've ever experienced, getting those pierced. I never understood the nipple piercing because I'm like, my nipples aren't always out. Yeah, I never understood a lot of stuff that I did in my 20s. But are your nipples always out that they can just put it no. through there? Like, I'd have to be like, hold They'd on have a to second. Go like, <laughs> yeah, they go, they, go, wait, they go do this. They go to milk it. <laughs> <laughs> milk both my nipples to get them out there. Otherwise, we ain't getting a piercing oh. through there. Yeah, they're not God, always out. damn it. You are filled to the brim with pus right now. I, I, but also. I, I wish I was. I would just pop everything on me. If I had something to pop on me, I'd pop it. I'm I'm popping. I, I have a I have like serious acne and rosacea right now for no reason. I was like, am I pregnant? Um, <laughs> baby Jefferson. No, um, <laughs> I don't know what day is it. Uh, this happens every month. Um, but yep. I'm like I, I'm popping. I'm popping. Oh, love it. Yeah, so I, into I, I, it. I popped a pimple on his back the other day. He didn't love it, but he didn't hate it. Uh, so you just start with one. Start with Next one. thing yeah. you know, it's that whole back. Yeah. He doesn't have a lot though, so I was like, like only one. Is he the right guy then? <laughs> I'll just rub butter on his back when he's sleeping. <laughs> good night, honey. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's really rubbing it in. But you're really um, lucky that you had a partner that lets you pop. He's going to be so pissed that I said that. Um, it was just one little one. And I was like, I was already in there doing it. And he's like, okay. Um, are you, what's the worst body thing you've ever heard? Like what's the what? That, with the worst body thing you've ever heard. Something that oh, you God, with. though. I mean, the worst body. The scariest thing, I always heard stuff as kids, but the thing that scared me in high school was the urban legend about the hot dog getting stuck in the girl's pussy. Did you have that at your high school? No, but I've heard people mention this. So what was it? It It was that a girl was fucking herself with a hot dog, which which, was already like, I can't believe somebody would do that. Because in high school, you're like... (sighs) somebody put a hot dog in their pussy just to have fun it also doesn't make sense to me because it's so wobbly right <laughs> that's where i'm like it's a hard a carrot fine cucumber sure but then there was the added thing like it broke off and she had to go to the hospital to get it taken out now in my brain was it cooked when it came out in my brain i'm like not knowing that you could just probably just reach up there and get it yeah and your Hold vagina out. doesn't go so far back it infinity in. yeah 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 but that terrified me in high school it absolutely terrified me to, to think about putting a hot dog in my pussy and having it break off and then having to go to the hospital and face the staff. And be like, there might be something in there. So it kept me from putting hot dogs in my pussy. Well, good. I'm glad that that, that, <laughs> that helped that. Yeah. That's the one thing. Did you put other yeah. things up there? I, um, you did. the oh first thing God. I put in my badge was a hairbrush handle. Oh, did you? Yeah. In okay. the bathtub. In the tub. And I was quite young. I was probably 12. Wow. And, I didn't even uh, know I had a hole until I was like 16. Really? Yeah. Well, consider yourself lucky. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just, uh, once you found out there was a little prize <laughs> down there, you just kept shoving stuff in there. Huh? I, that was that was the last thing I shoved in there till probably in my 20s. Okay. Besides a dick. Dick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the hot dog, what, what, yeah, what are the things, were your parents saying weird things you growing up? Like weird body things to scare you? I, the grandparents yeah. always what were they saying? um you know it was the don't eat the watermelon seeds you'll grow a watermelon yeah, um uh-huh. don't um eat sandwiches down the middle because then it'll go in your ears and cause ear i'm just well, that one's bizarre new. things yeah, um that one's really insane of course don't stay in the water too long because you will get a yeasty they didn't say yeasty but get a little infection yeah yeah um, yeah even though as a kid i was lived in the water i was a fucking fish i was like i never out of there Maybe were you born what. a fish i was born i was born in a tub no i was I, we had a cottage so we, we were always swimming we used to swim all the time yeah just uh, mine mine was more body shaming really than body uh urban legends or your family body shaming you oh of course is that what families do 
Yeah, my European side, yeah. Don't all families um, say fatty, fatty two by four can't fit through the kitchen floor, floor door? Um, Isn't that normal? Yeah, that's normal. Isn't that normal for your mom to say you have ham hocks, ham hocks on your legs? I mean, ham hocks is a funny way of saying it, but <laughs> it's and not nice. And I wasn't nice. even fat as a young person. That's the thing. That's they were just what? straight up fat shaming us for nothing, dude. Just off the top. Were your parents fat? Were they fat? It's always the grandparents um, that are fat no. as hell that say this. Okay. no. No, yeah, that, that's uh, Eastern Europeans like that. My grand, my friend's grandma used to be like, "Why are you so fat?" To her face, you look at her less fat, but not as fat as you. And I was like, "My God, Jesus Christ!" <laughs> wow, you must have had a normal childhood. No, 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 no. It literally wasn't loved. Um. <laughs> oh, turn no, off this podcast. Turn no. it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I, I was in a weird way. They just didn't know how to tell you. My dad did. My mom was on the road a lot. She was like a working gal, and she um, wasn't around and very, uh, I don't think she knew. It's getting so sad and depressing. Let's right call now. her. <laughs> call her. No, she's not. Now that I'm doing well, she's like, I love you. My man, where was that yeah, when I was 15, yeah. bitch? No kidding. Where did you come from? <laughs> Wait a second. Remember when I was sad and felt like I wasn't loving? No. Um, no, I, 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 my European side would be, they made fun of my nose a lot. Always commenting how big it is. Why was it so big? And it's like the most perfect thing. It's well about Jefferson you. loves it, so I don't give a fuck. This is the amount I get trolled for this online is what? insanity. I don't get it. I don't every get it. Fucking minute of every day, men hate that I have big nose. Like, also, I love people like like make fun of like our bodies. Like, we don't, we didn't do this. I didn't morph this from. I didn't. Be like, <laughs> I want the biggest one you have. Let Thank me crack you, God. This. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Speaking of Jesus, Jefferson just moved in unpacked a bible and i went what's that where's where's Whoa. that going he's like on the shelf i'm like the shelf uh-huh what shelf so the, what the public shelf that i look at every day so what you're saying is jefferson moved out <laughs> what i'm saying is that uh the i read you the holy ghost you know i'm I might be religious now. I don't know. Did you grow up religious? No, very unreligious. Really? Can you tell you? Did you grow up religious? Catholic. Did you? Okay. A lot of shame still, I think, oh, from that. okay. Um, yeah, a lot of shame. Wow, so will he be holding weekly Bible Yes, studies? do you want to come by for I would study? love to, especially if it turns into like a musical type oh, thing. Oh, that's, yeah, they all oh, sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love yeah. a good musical. Do you? Are you a big oh, singer? Love singing. Really? I love it. Okay. Love musicals, love anything that's fancy. Like if I see... Somebody's singing like, uh, luck be a lady tonight, like that. I'm there. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I've I never, you'd love him then. He's he's big musical guy. He's well, always singing around. Well, I these. started following him as soon as I saw that you guys were hitched up together. I'm like, I gotta check this guy out. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I went to his Instagram. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. And saw a lot of singing and I was like, I'm here. Yeah, no, he's so he's happy for you. you. Thank you. Are you dating right now? I'm dating a guy. Yeah. That's uh, quite a bit younger than me. <laughs> yeah. Quite. What's quite? How many years? He's 35. Exquise moi. And a lot of people online will say, oh, he's just using her for clout or money. And I'm like, why won't you just let me have that then? Yeah. Like, if he <laughs> yeah. is, just let me have it. Also, wh- wh- why, why would they say that? Who cares? They say that because they can't imagine why a young, hot guy, because he is very hot, would fuck up older fat woman in their mind they're like i can't compute why this man would like her it's very bizarre that people don't don't understand that everybody has their own fucking tastes it that's that's it, that'll never i'll never understand that okay you don't want to fuck me that's fine my boyfriend does your boyfriend wants to fuck you he finds all of this attractive mm-hmm. this turns him on why the fuck do you care they can't it's so it's jealous it's just it's pure jealousy they, just they can't, can't fathom. No, they can't let me see this hot boyfriend. Have I not seen him? Do you post about him a lot? I mean, yeah. You've probably seen him and like, oh, that's her son. I've um, never Which we'll to... get sometimes. <laughs> um, How and the thing is, he's Latino, so he is, couldn't be my son unless yeah. I adopted him. <laughs> I don't have my phone to show you. Okay, right, where so. did you meet this man? Met him on tour in Chicago. Uh-huh. Um, I went through a period of about... 10 years where I didn't have sex and was done with men Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden one day I um, decided I wanted to have sex again Mm -hmm. and Chelsea put out an all call on her Instagram and said um, you want to fuck Libby message her and he messaged me and uh, 
I love this approach. And uh, I've been fucking with him ever since. That oh was three God. years ago. Wow. So we're not in a committed thing just because, like, he is young. And in my brain, I know, like, he is going to want a family at some point. Yeah. And it gets complicated like that because um, I'm not going to give him family because I'm not wrecking this vagina. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's stayed 70 for a reason. <laughs> but we have so much fun together. We laugh constantly, and that's, that's really what I'm here for. That, that's the main Hello? thing. Hello? That's the main thing. Does is, is that mean we're done? That means uh, somebody's phoning me right now. Oh, oh, yes. I should turn my phone off. Somebody's um, phoning me. That was very phoning English. me. I have a phone. Someone's phoning me. Um, that's, I think, the main thing is that the, what you just said, laughing and having fun. All when the you time. find that, it's like, yeah, that's all you want to do. And we can literally blast each other into the night with farts all night, and we're so comfortable and okay with See, it. See, I, I got to get there. I, Jefferson's blast. loving it. Blast. I've been, I've been, I've been, but. Spread those cheeks and blast. I, got, I woke him up the other night with one, and he was like, what was that? I was like, you know what it was. It was my ass. And that's when you walk over and get his Bible and read passage <laughs> from Genesis that says, thou what? shall not Shame, my Shame farts. women's for farts. Should I like glue that in there? He's read it so many times. I'll be like, <laughs> I don't remember reading that part. I'm like, it's weirdly in my own handwriting, but yeah, that's in the Bible. <laughs> don't shame my farts. Um, I love this for you. It's, it's just fun. Also, it's fun. fuck people. Everyone is so sick online. I'm just trying to have fun. That's all that matters. And do, you know, nut. I'm trying to nut, yeah. have fun. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> not, not and have fun, I think, are my two favorite things. What Nutting, having fun, eating. Those three. Eating. Having fun. Mm -hmm. Nutting. Traveling. Doing what you love. Doing. I, I, I mean, even those three things. It, those four things. Traveling. Eating. Nutting. Having fun. That's it. I couldn't be happier. This is, this is great. And you might say, well, don't you have clinical depression sometimes? And I say, yeah, but <laughs> still I'm nutting eating traveling and having fun <laughs> so what do you have on the what's coming up what, what's on the pipeline here where should we find you where what's going on what are we doing well i am traveling with chelsea lynn again mm -hmm. and i'm her feature act and we are traveling for two months before we go on her cruise oh fuck that'll be fun as hell oh my god the cruise is so it, it, she sells out a cruise is that what this is what happens cruise yes this Cruises is her first fucked. cruise okay um okay. i'll be doing stand-up and different shit on there mukbangs oh um, yeah you'll be oh really yeah live mukbang oh wow um do you do you do that on your instagram we do um because i see you guys do that you both eat we both stuff. eat yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. called mukbangs but they're not truly mukbangs okay because those yeah. are where you just get tons of food and yeah eat. i was like you guys just have like nuggets and stuff it's, and doing like a crazy it's, it's more of just sitting and eating okay um and talking okay um and improving. and people love that yeah people yeah, yeah. love it well, uh, yeah people love you guys and that that'll be a crazy cruise it'll be wild my god how a week uh, three days. Oh, three, Can you imagine a week? No, no, no. I, no. No, 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 no. That, I was like, you might die on the. I cruise. went on a New Kids on the Block cruise for three days, and I it took me like two weeks to recover. New Kids on the Block? Big cruise. New Kids on the Block fan here, okay? <laughs> so how many nights do they do shows the whole time? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Do they do mukbangs on the day? You they don't. They do other stuff like. Oh, they uh, do? They do like pods and stuff today? Like meat greets or something? Yeah, stuff like that. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, this yeah. sounds like a fucking blast. No more sand fleas for you. Hmm. I hope people... Uh, I'm going to get them. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm on the beach, baby, I'm getting sand fleas. Disgusting. Um, please follow Libby on Instagram. Wait, wait, i got to ask the final question. We have one, one minute here. What's the funniest way you think you can die? I think the funniest way that I could die, and, and I'm not saying this is funny for other no, people. No, it's just for die. you personally. Just yes. for me is if it was in a space shuttle. And I don't know why. Going up or coming back? Going up. Okay. <laughs> kind of like... And I don't think the Challenger was funny. I want to preface that because we did watch that happen live in school, uh, third grade, I think. I don't remember. And it was not funny. It was actually very traumatizing. And maybe that's why I'm sort of projecting myself into the space shuttle. But the fact that I would have to prepare as an astronaut for many years, then my friends and family would say goodbye to me. And as I'm blasting into space, peace signing out the window, I explode. I mean, I'm laughing at the way you're saying it right now. It, it is horrendous and dark. It's absolutely horrendous. But the, <laughs> the space shuttle exploding was one of the scariest memories of my lifetime. Oh, but for me, I think I could make it into a bit, you know? And yeah. I want to go out as a bit. I don't no, want to go out yeah, no, 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 no. as a, you know, just 
no, no, no. We gotta go out as bands. We can't be this. We can't be this crazy and just be like, good night, everybody. Right. No. I want it to be hilarious that I thought I could be an astronaut. First of all, mm-hmm. I can't even fit in an airplane seat. How am I going to fit in a space <laughs> shuttle seat? Let's be honest, folks. A lot of lipo before you get in. Uh, a lot of lipo or first class space yeah, shuttle. Yeah, yeah. Is what I have to do, <laughs> and um, and I'd hope there would be some sort of live transmission. You know. Yeah, I assume that you'd be like, or you'd even be going live in there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it just fades to black. Yes, quickly, yes, yes. and my friends and family will probably be devastated i imagine for years and um <laughs> i mean i hope so but imagine how viral i would go no you go oh yeah that'd be insane just one Especially last if your time last, if your last thing was like <laughs> oh shit and then just, <laughs> your tooth flies out <laughs> my oh, tooth flies God. out and i'm like oh daddy fuck me in space <laughs> and then it just explodes <laughs> daddy's fucking me on the way to mars and i explode i well <laughs> That's that's one way of going. And that I would want someone to. I'm just gonna say it now. I want you to get the money from the viral video because me. you asked the question. Okay. And I wouldn't have ever thought of that. Death. But then I'll donate it to people with your my condition. Yes. Bad uh, ass condition. Your big fat ass condition, <laughs> so they can get help. You. This is the best. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so no, glad we met. Please follow Libby on uh, social media. Please listen to her po- show. Your podcast. Slop City. Slop City. Listen to Slop City. I also do one on my own called Storage. But listen to whatever do, you want. Listen just, to them all. Just come on my Instagram, and if you send a message that says, "Hey, you want to see my dick?" I'll say no, but probably send it anyway. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you.